Overnight, a record-setting storm tearing through the Midwest. In Minnesota, a possible tornado in what would be the state's first ever December twister. Look at all the lightning from this system here in December. Uh, pretty remarkable. Tornado warnings stretching through six states. At least 19 tornadoes reported in parts of Iowa and Nebraska alone. Overnight, oh nearly God. 100 million Americans under high wind alerts. Those hurricane force gusts leaving behind a trail of debris. It was crazy and it sounded like a train just going through. Hundreds of reports of damage stretching from the southwest to Wisconsin. In Kansas, blinding conditions on the roads. The dust so thick there were reports of mud rain. Winds up to 107 Dead. miles per hour crashing into Colorado, sending trailers flying. Stop! And toppling trucks in Nebraska. At Denver International Airport, a rough landing for some and major delays for others. It was just rough. A lot of turbulence. <laughs> turbulence. Yeah, a lot yeah. of turbulence. She was squeezing my hand the whole time. And that wild weather transitioning into severe storms aided by record winter heat. It's weird being 60 degrees and having snow on the sidewalk. In Iowa, all-time December highs reaching the mid-70s, providing fuel for all those tornadoes. And here in Minnesota, it's the mix of winter storms in the north and then thunderstorms and tornadoes in the south that make this area in this December so unusual and really potentially dangerous. Yeah, Hold I'll up. say. All right, Shaq, thank you so much. And Al is here with more on the storms and what we need to know today. Some mm -hmm. folks are traveling. That's Al, right. what you got? Got a lot going on. In fact, you look at these wind damage reports. They literally stretch from California all the way to the upper Midwest. We're talking 517 reports across 17 states, stretching 21 100 miles. These are the most the most high wind reports were 75 miles per hour or more, the most ever recorded in one day. And now we still have 51 million people being impacted by wind advisories and high wind warnings from Duluth, Minnesota to Watertown, New York, down to Lima, Ohio. We're looking at this the strong wind gust of up to 60 miles per hour. As this front pushes to the east, we've got the risk of marginal risk of severe weather stretching from Little Rock down to Tyler, Texas, Shreveport, tornado threat low. Oh, that's the good news. But we are going to be looking at very heavy rain. Our friends in Mayfield are going to see heavy rain through Kentucky today, showers and thunderstorms and those hard hit tornado areas. Then tomorrow, a new storm enters the Ohio and Mississippi valleys, river valleys. Again, more heavy rain down in that Kentucky area. And this is over saturated soils already. Saturday, the rain stretches from the mid Atlantic to the Gulf Coast with snow upstate New York on into New England. That wintry mix will be moving in later. The rainfall totals locally three to four inches from northern Texas right through the Mississippi and Ohio River Valleys. Look at Mayfield right there. Those poor folks are going to see more heavy rain and a decent amount of snow up through New England, anywhere from four to six, eight inches of snow in that region as well. Guys. All right, Al, thank you so much. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.